Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I am going to be doing a full review of the Namecheap hosting. I'm going to show you everything from how to actually get the best deal on your Namecheap hosting as well as taking a look at if Namecheap is as good as other hosting providers. So if you are debating using Namecheap as your hosting provider, all of your questions will be answered in this video. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to be doing here is taking a look at the actual pricing of their hosting. If you want to grab the prices shown on screen right now with this absolutely huge discount, you can do so using the first link down in the description. Go ahead and click on that link and then you will be able to access these prices right here. So we can first of all change the billing cycle between monthly, yearly and two years. And this is of course going to affect the price from month to month. So looking here we have the basic plan which is called Stellar the middle plan, which is Stellar Plus, and then the third plan, the most premium plan, which is Stellar Business. With the regular Stellar plan, we get a domain name included, we get three websites, we get 20 gigabytes of SSD, 30 mailboxes, and a website builder. The first thing that I actually want to cover here is the domain name, even though you do technically get a free domain name included here, you only get the low level domains. Things like .fun, .host, .online. If you want a .com or a .co, one of these top level domains, you are going to have to pay a little bit extra to actually buy that domain. However, if you buy this domain with the hosting plan, you get it for half of the price that it will usually be. Just to give you an example, if I was to go and buy a domain straight from Namecheap, it would cost me about $10. Whereas if I buy hosting and then I want to buy a .com domain, it would only cost me about $5. Now, moving on to the Stellar Plus plan, you can see we get everything that is included in the Stellar, apart from we get unlimited websites instead of three, unmetered SSD instead of 20 gigabytes, we get unlimited mailboxes instead of 30, we also get the auto backup and then of course the website builder as well. The next plan is the Stellar Business. A little bit overkill in my opinion, unless you're a big business. If you are just running a blog or you are trying to host WordPress, normal everyday use, you probably just want to go for this Stellar Plus plan. However, you do get 50 gigabytes of SSD, unlimited mailboxes, and then auto backup and cloud storage with the Stellar Business. We can also choose the data center location here at the top. We can flick between the US, UK and EU and the data center location that you choose will affect the price. The way that you actually choose your data center location effectively depends on where most of your traffic will be coming from. If you have a website and most of the users are in the US, you want to go for the US. If your audience is based in the UK, go for UK. And then if Europe, go for the Europe plan. If you want to take a look and get more detail on the specifications of this, you can scroll down and take a look at this big table. However, most of what is included in the hosting is going to be included in these lists. So that is the pricing right there. If you want to go ahead and buy one of these, it's pretty simple and straightforward. We just go through here. We can then choose to either buy a new domain or connect an existing domain and then we can simply go through here and purchase the hosting. The second thing that I want to touch on here is the ease of use. So if I just go here to my hosting list, these are currently the two hosting plans or hosting domains that I have with Namecheap. Now everything on Namecheap in terms of the hosting is done through cPanel. So if I go ahead and go into this, you can see that this is cPanel right here. Now, I will say that cPanel is not the best to look at. It does look a bit janky. It does look a bit clunky, like something from maybe the early 2000s. However, it does the job. Connecting to a website like WordPress is super, super easy. All I would have to do is click into WordPress right here. Go ahead and install this. And then I can customize and configure my settings on WordPress. So I can choose like the version that I want to install, the domain, the site settings like the name. I then have my admin account for WordPress, the username and password over here. I can choose the language, select the plugins that I want to use and then click on install. 
Once that comes through, I can then go through this administrative link right here, and that is going to take me straight over to WordPress. I now have that installed and linked with my Namecheap domain, and then I can just go ahead and use WordPress like normal. Alternatively, the second thing that we can do is use the website builder that is built into cPanel right here, that is specifically for Namecheap customers. Now, this is an option, however, it is not the best. The website builder, just like cPanel itself, is pretty clunky, as you can see here, and it is usable, like we can use this, it is just a bog standard drag and drop editor. We can add in like shapes and text. However, if you are going to be using Namecheap and you are going to be hosting something on this, I would absolutely recommend that you go with WordPress over the standard website builder that comes with Namecheap because it is just going to make your life so much easier. We can also go in here in the hosting subscriptions and manage everything. So I can come over to this screen right here. And this is where I can manage my hosting in terms of canceling if I want to. I can go ahead and change the cPanel username, change the domain, change the plan if I want to upgrade and everything like that. Down here, I can also see the usage statistics how much storage I have used, the bandwidth, the CPU in use, and everything else that you need is straight at a glance right here. So the general user interface, although cPanel is not the nicest, it does integrate extremely easily with WordPress, which is a huge bonus in my opinion. And then the final thing that I want to cover here is the uptime. The uptime that you have with your website is super, super important. It is probably the most important thing when looking at a hosting provider. And the reason for this is if your website goes down, people cannot get onto your website, that can wreak havoc on your business. So one of the main things that you need to look for in a hosting provider is does it have good uptime? And with Namecheap, the answer to that is absolutely. As you can see, I got this from this website called tooltester.com, so full credit to them. As you can see, they did a full test on all of the uptime. And you can see SiteGround, WP Engine, Namecheap, Kinster, and InMotion all got 100%. So this means that they were up for the entire duration when they were tested. So Namecheap comes in here at 100% uptime, so extremely, extremely reliable, and it's always going to be up. So my overall thoughts on this is that Namecheap is an absolutely fantastic hosting provider and Namecheap is currently the website that I use for all of my hosting. All of my domains, all of my blogs are all currently hosted on Namecheap and the way that things are going with the price and the uptime, that will not be changing anytime soon. So that was my complete review of the Namecheap hosting. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.